Yeah, we are still in Whitewater Township, Page, but we are on Highway 128, State Route 128, right at Silly Road. You can see they're turning people up Silly Road right now, and the rest of State Route 128 is closed all the way to the Kroger store that was evacuated just a couple of hours ago. Uh, that store was evacuated. Every home that is between here and that store was also evacuated, or people were told to shelter in place, seal their doors and windows. Take a look at some video that we took just a short while ago as the sheriff's deputies were trying to tell people that they could not get back into their homes. The people who live in the area, they're trying to get home. They are getting turned away regardless of their situation. Some people have pets that they are worried about. We spoke to another man whose son is diabetic and his dad needed to get medicine for him. They were told to call 911. A lot of people frustrated and worried here. I was trying to get back to the house. I've got two dogs there and my husband doesn't have a way out. So I guess this is what we're gonna have to end up doing is calling 911. He's gonna have to, I mean, I just want my family together tonight. What did they tell you at school? Um, they never told us anything, but they got sent an email on like why kids are leaving. And uh, did that make you kind of scared? Were you happy to see your mom? Yeah. yeah. How about uh, your uh, dad? Um, scared. Scared for him? Yeah. When this happened up north, people were out of their homes for two, three months. What am I supposed to do? How, how is anybody supposed to live like that? And so these guys have zero answers for me. They don't know when I can go down there. They don't know how dangerous this, this chemical is. They know nothing about it. So who, who do you call to help? He told me to call 911. I called 911 to ask questions. They have no answers for me. Well, 911 has been helpful for a lot of other people. A 911 operator dispatched a sheriff to that little boy's home. They were able to get his father, bring him back. That family was reunited. That father was very upset, though, and he was visibly injured. His eyes were burning, and he just wanted to get out of here. Uh, another 911 operator, incidentally, I told you about that little boy who needed his diabetes medicine. Another 911 operator dispatched another deputy to their home. He not only got their medicine, but he turned off their oven. They had ribs that had been cooking in there for a couple of hours. It seems that the 911 operators and the deputies are doing everything they can for people. One thing that they cannot do that people really want is to know how long they are going to be evacuated. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.